Aloha, I'm Dr. Katherine Takeda Wong. Thank you for joining us today uh, for our event. And uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, some very important things today. We're talking about anxiety. Anxiety is something that can affect our thoughts, our feelings and actions, and they can interfere with our everyday lives and make it difficult for us to do the activities that we want to do. So today we're gonna to be talking about how natural medicine can be able to help with anxiety uh, without drugs, and really, in some cases, treating the underlying causes of what's going on. Uh, I'm Dr. Katherine Takeda Wong, and a physician who believes that educating patients and the community is an essential part of a doctor's mission. Especially when it comes to anxiety, there is a major need for families to understand that the medical aspects often can be successfully treated without drugs. Now, some common symptoms of anxiety include stress that is out of proportion to the event, an inability to set aside worries, ongoing irritability, feeling restless, sleep problems, and more. And as I am fond of telling my patients, the notion that we are made up of parts is misguided. The body is a single organism, so everything is connected to and affects everything else. For example, problems with gut bacteria can affect the neurotransmitters in our brain that alter our moods. As you'll see from this event, that is especially the case with anxiety. Because every aspect of our body is connected, having the nutrients we need is the foundation of a healthy life. Yet in the United States, fewer than 20% of conventional medical schools require any courses in nutrition. That's 20% at a time when most of our chronic diseases are food related. And having only 25 hours of training in nutrition in a four year medical school program means that many often of our conventional medical doctors are not really adequately educated on the power of nutrition and how that can make a big difference in the lives of many patients. Naturopathic doctors like myself typically receive 155 hours of nutrition. We are trained to educate and guide patients to build their physical and emotional health from the inside. So while I attended a four-year medical school like MDs, and I also order lab tests, write prescriptions and such. I approach treatment comprehensively, which includes all aspects of a person's health, which is why my patient visits are one hour, not 10 or 15 minutes. And it's a partnership for health between me and my patients. If you have a condition that you would like to talk with me about, please contact the office and schedule a free phone consultation. There's no charge because I don't take new patients without reviewing their situation first and coming up with a plan to help you get better. All of the contact information is on our Facebook page. Naturopathic medicine has been way in front of the curve when it comes to understanding how our gut microbiome connects to the immune system and also our effects, affects our emotional well-being through the production of brain chemicals, which are called neurotransmitters. Now, even conventional medicine is discovering the importance of our gut, which has been called our second brain. The amazing world of our microbiome that science has unlocked has been slow to filter into our mass consciousness, which is one reason why I feel it's so important for doctors like myself to educate the community one point of scientific research that we now use to, uh, to improve our emotional well-being is that the lack of certain strains of bacteria in our gut can lead to anxiety. One of the brain chemicals produced in the gut is serotonin. Serotonin is a crucial chemical for improving our mood and decreasing anxiety. Researchers have found a clear connection between low serotonin levels and increases in depression, anxiety, and other mental emotional conditions. In addition, serotonin also improves digestion, sleep, and bone health. Drugs like Prozac are used to treat anxiety, but the question that needs to be asked is, why is serotonin low in the first place? As a brain chemical primarily made in the gut, 
If harmful bacteria, yeast, or other gut problems exist there, the result can be issues with our mood. In addition, we know that antibiotics affect the good bacteria in our gut. Now, the latest research is showing that many other drugs, as well as antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications, can negatively affect the good gut bacteria as well. Probiotics can sometimes help with anxiety, but it's important to know that they're not all the same. Different strains and species do different things, so it's important for people to get laboratory testing to determine what kinds of bacteria are in the gut and what you may def be deficient in and what you need. Another underlying cause for anxiety involves a certain yeast called candida. Candida produces a compound that is toxic to brain function. Most of us know what happens when people get drunk, right? Those effects happen because alcohol breaks down into a compound that is toxic to the brain. Candida produces the same compound. In fact, one of the symptoms of candida overgrowth is that the person can act like they're drunk. For example, they may be angry or moody or may act silly or giddy. But candida can be something that can affect anxiety and your mood. So that is treatable by treating with both pharmaceutical or natural antifungals to help to address the root of the issue. And lastly, stress can harm our gut as much as junk food. So that's the connection between feeling anxious or nervous and having diarrhea or sore stomach. So managing stress can be a key to helping improve our mood and reducing anxiety. If you're looking to purchase supplements, including ones that help with anxiety, they need to be ones that are tested for quality by independent laboratories. Remember, there is no FDA regulation for herbs and supplements. So it is important to make sure that you are getting a product that is tested by a third party independent laboratory and making sure that it's a high quality supplement. I invite you to check out our online supplement store where all of the products there are third party tested and meet the highest standards for quality. Also, our online supplement store is the only one where all the products are tested for high quality and where 100% of the proceeds go to supporting treatment for children with special needs. In addition, you'll also receive 20% off of the regular prices. It's at drtaketawong.com, that's drtaketawong.com, and you'll find the link in the post with this video. People can have imbalances in their brain chemicals, like serotonin, oxytocin, and others. A deficiency of oxytocin can lead to anxiety, especially social anxiety. Natural ways of stimulating oxytocin production include affectionate touch, hugging, yoga, listening to music, massage, and more. One can also take oxytocin, which is available by prescription. Hormonal imbalance can also contribute to anxiety. For example, PMS can cause anxiety and even depression. I've seen many women going through menopause that have sudden onset of anxiety or depression that they've never had before. Both PMS and mental problems can be treated naturally with herbs and vitamins. And acupuncture can also be very helpful for treating hormone imbalances. Other compounds can that, that can lead to anxiety uh, include toxins in the body. So if there are toxins that are present, that can interfere with normal brain function and can start to cause problems with normal brain function, including regulating your mood. I have seen a number of patients where when we work on detoxing them, then their anxiety and depression can improve. There can be other issues like problems with the thyroid or the adrenals. And some patients have actually been misdiagnosed. They've been given an anti-anxiety medication or a depression medication where their adrenal gland or their thyroid was never tested. And then they come in, we do testing, and then we find out that they actually have a thyroid or an adrenal problem. And that when we address that, then their anxiety or their depression improve. 
And so this is just another example of really treating the whole person and looking for clues and making sure that we're treating the underlying cause of what's going on. Both thyroid and adrenal problems can be treated with natural herbs, adjustments to one's food choices, vitamins, and nutrients. Did you know that vitamin D deficiency is another cause that can be linked to anxiety and depression and mood problems? So this is why I test for vitamin D levels in my patients with these concerns. The optimal blood level is 50 to 80 nanograms per milliliter. Now, if it's below 50, I typically recommend taking a vitamin D supplement. I have an interesting story. I had one patient who uh, had a lot of mood issues and anxiety and depression, and um, we tested his vitamin D levels, and his vitamin D levels were really, really low. It was like seven. And then we started him on vitamin D, and then his spouse called me the next week after we had started and was saying that he was he was back to his normal self um, and that they had actually been going through marriage counseling and then when he started on the vitamin D supplement that we actually saw a significant improvement in his mood uh, and so sometimes if the vitamin D is really low it could be that dramatic where within a few days or a week of starting a vitamin D supplement, you could see a significant difference in your mood. Other ways to help with anxiety without drugs include meditation, sleep, spending time outdoors, and exercise. Getting your bare feet on the sand or dirt can be very grounding. And meditation has been found to be very helpful. And to be perfectly honest with you, over the long term, I've seen some of the most profound shifts in patients with mood and anxiety disorders from meditation. So it's really something that often is overlooked, but it's a powerful, powerful tool that can really be a game changer. And lastly, I brought in some cutting edge technology called Neuroptimal into my practice. It's a highly advanced neurofeedback system that allows the brain to self-adjust. It is helping to train the brain to get and stay in a more balanced brainwave pattern. So one simply puts on the sensors, listens to music, or watches a movie while the system detects brainwave patterns that aren't operating smoothly. The Neuroptimal momentarily pauses while allowing the brain waves to give feedback and to become more harmonious. And it is something that I have definitely seen helpful for anxiety, as well as many other conditions. I've used it to treat things like insomnia, depression, ADHD, when people have difficulty with attention or focus. I've seen it be helpful for children with autism, uh, for individuals with Parkinson's, uh, as well as other neurological conditions. We're having a holiday special through the end of the year, where the fees are reduced by half to 49.50 per session. Normally, our Neuroptimal sessions are $100 per session, but now through the end of the year, it's half off 49.50 per session. And people who have used Neuroptimal for anxiety have gotten excellent results. What I'd like you to take away from my talk today is that anxiety is tightly connected to a variety of medical imbalances. And when those medical issues are resolved, we can see behavior and mood improving. Adding advanced neurofeedback completes that whole body approach. I trust our discussion about the role of natural medicine and anxiety has been useful for you. Does your doctor take the time to educate you like we're doing here today? If not, you're welcome to talk with me personally about any health concerns that you have so that you too can feel empowered with your health. To do so, just call or text our office to schedule a free phone consultation with me. There's no charge because I don't take patients without talking to them first. I always want to make sure that what we do fits your needs. You'll find all the contact information on our Facebook page. Mahalo, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in another two weeks. Aloha.